Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh to hold bilateral talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow today. India and Russia to sign several agreements. Prime Minister to be conferred honorary doctorate. Well, two countries are also to impact on exchange of convicts. India rejects Pakistan's call for U.S. intervention on Jammu and Kashmir, says such a move is against spirit of Shimla agreement. U.S. asserts its Kashmir policy remains unchanged. India expresses concern over continuing political stalemate in Maldives, expresses hope that all parties will adhere to the 11th November deadline for completion of the process of presidential elections. Pakistan intensifies ceasefire violations along line of control. Pakistani troops resort to heavy firing in six BSF posts in the Jammu region on Sunday. Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde to visit the area tomorrow. CBI to summit status a report to the Supreme Court tomorrow on its ongoing probe into the coal block allocation case. Prime Minister's office asserts that allotment of coal block to Hindalco was based on the merit of the facts placed before the Prime Minister. BJP clears first list of 67 candidates for forthcoming assembly polls. Nine sitting MLAs denied tickets. Serious differences emerge on party's chief ministerial candidate for Delhi. The condition of the Mumbai girl who was forced to drink acid by a youth and then pushed into sea remains to be critical. The accused is in police custody. Gandhinagar court extends custody of controversial godman Asaram till tomorrow. Police question his wife and daughter in sexual assault case. Asaram's son also a co-accused in the case, still at large. Suspended the Trinamul Congress Party MP Kunal Ghosh to depose before serious fraud investigation office today in connection with the Sharda Group case in which lakhs of investors were duped by the company. Five people were yesterday taken into custody in Tutukorin for allegedly helping the US ship MV Seamen guard Ohio, which the ship along with its 35 crew members were detained on charges of illegal entry. Massive protests held in Maldives by the supporters of former President Mohammad Nasheed over postponement of presidential elections at the last minute. Nasheed called for international intervention to resolve the crisis. In Syria, at least 31 killed and several injured when a suicide bomber blew, blew up a truck laden with explosives at an army checkpoint in central city of Hama. In a day of heightened violence in Iraq, suicide bombing in a Baghdad cafe kills 35 people. In all, 45 people killed in incidents of violence in the country. Australia declares a fire emergency as the country faces the worst bushfire in 40 years. Warm and dry weather and strong winds worsen situation. International financial giant JP Morgan Chase agrees to pay the record hefty penalty of 13 billion US dollars to settle allegations surrounding the quality of mortgage backed securities it sold in the run up to the 2008 financial crisis. Team India retains its 15 member team for the final tour. Uh, four ODIs against Australia. Pacer is Ishan Sharma keeps his place despite flag for giving 30 runs in one over in the last match. Olympian Sumit Sangwan and Vikash Malik fight through the through tough contest to enter the pre-quarter finals of the World Boxing Championships at Almaty. India's top squash player Deepika Palikal notches up stunning victory against former world number one 
Rachel Grinham of Australia to clinch the Macau Open. Today is Azad Hind Day. On this day in 1943 in Singapore, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose had declared the first government of India in exile.